So we finally actually got a response from Naughty Dog in regards to the actual issues of, you know, the constant threats being sent to the voice actor of Abby and um, I believe it was Laura Bailey. And, you know, here's my thing. Here's my major actual thing about it. It's, it's very interesting that, you know, people... People even set these type of things to the actual voice actor. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And excuse me, I drank some soda. I always, I always tend to drink some soda too. So this is the Naughty Dog Twitter right here. And it says, although we welcome critical discussion, we condemn any form of harassment or threats directed towards our team and cast. Their safety is our top priority, but we must all work together root out this to root out this type of behavior and maintain a constructive and compassionate discourse now that is from naughty dog and then you get people saying that this game is straight garbage and stuff like that you know it's It's what, um, it's literally something that kind of gets on my nerve when it comes to this. Um, now, he here's my thing. It's like, I, I don't know when it comes to, um, when it comes to most of, like, the things of the tweets, like, saying, like, because it's back and forth. People like it, people don't like it. And, you know, YouTubers are talking how it's good. Some YouTubers are talking how it's bad. And that's a good thing because that is criticism. It's criticism and they talk about, like, you know, the story, gameplay, and everything. Even Angry Joe gave it a 6 out of 10, which is, you know, he did an overall thing for it. And that's actually a fair fair thing for him because he actually played the whole game as well. Um, my thing, especially with, you know, the death threats... You know, like, you know, in regards to, like, you know, the voice actor. The voice actor is sadly just doing her job. Um, she has no actual place in controlling of the story. She has no issue or any place of trying to fix the story in the way that she sees fit. She just has to do her job with voice acting. If you have a specific issue, maybe go ahead and write, write to the writers or the developers about your concerns about this when you just say something like the game the story is bad because a character died that doesn't help anybody get better that does not discuss anything to get better because of the fact that if in certain areas and in certain movies and shows that there is a beloved character that has died and you know what the problem is there are things like you know oh lee dying in the um the last of not in the last of us the um the walking dead um telltale telltale series and then they continued on and with clementine it wasn't really about clementine that much it was more about lee and lee had a past that literally just like you know was very bad to a point where you know he ended up making better decisions there's that there is also, um, I would say that there is also things like in regards to Glenn in The Walking Dead show, where, you know, they actually just killed him right on the beginning of the actual season, which kind of makes sense because he wasn't going to be acting in there anymore. Now, an overall critique for a game is not just story, it's gameplay and it is, you know, design. People say that the design was okay, some people thought the gameplay was meh, it was back and forth, some people liked the story, some people didn't like the story. You know, give the reasons to actually do so so they can make a better product. Or even provide something better with the product. Um, it doesn't make it better if you guys go ahead and do something like that or 
like in regards to say, oh, it's a bad game because one person dies. That doesn't help or change the whole game. That doesn't make the game as a whole better. You know, it's just like saying, you know, Borderlands became a shitty story because Roland died and they forced Lilith on the character. No, it, it doesn't make no sense. It really doesn't make no sense at all. <laughs> My thing is with some of the, um, with some of the critique, it makes sense of why they don't like it. Cause some people have talked about like, you know, maybe the story from the first one was more appealing than the second one. People were talking about the gameplay was a little bit, you know, more was bland and everything and then they explain why you know that's critique that that helps out with with making the better product when you just say it's just a bad game overall because they killed joel and you know it's spoilers yeah they killed joel then th th then that doesn't help nobody that, that that's bad critique that doesn't help nobody grow or help anybody make a better thing from that but anyways, when it comes to them also responding to the harassments, um, as I said, no voice actor should get any type of threats. This happened also to the developer of Pokemon over something stupid like a Pokedex, like the National Dex. It's like really ridiculous that the actual voice actor, you know, gets the shit from it that, you know, if you have that little concern or that complaint, it should go to the writer or the developer. Now, there's a lot of things, like, especially when it comes to, like, from Naughty Dog that Neil Druckmann has said. I guess says, although cr criticism is a discussion. Now, here's my thing. I don't believe this is from Neil Druckmann. Because this speaks as Naughty Dog as a whole. Neil Druckmann is just a writer. And the thing is, with Neil Druckmann, I don't like the guy. I don't. It has nothing to do with his views. Has nothing to do with anything, like uh, what he what he believes in. It's more about what he how he criticizes other workers. Um, when he criticizes other workers, it was based on the design of the characters. Like they saying they're over sexualizing characters. Let me tell you, a character is designed based on what the writer or the designer says it as. You cannot go ahead and get upset because somebody does that in the choice. A woman in a game can be sexy. A woman can be ugly in a game as well. For instance, um, a couple of sexy characters. You have um, characters like Cortana, who is sexy as well. You have characters like um, like uh, Ivy from Soul Calibur. Uh, not so sexy characters, but really good characters. Um, Ellie from Borderlands. Um, Lilith from Borderlands. Uh, you have a lot of different characters, especially that were that are pretty dope. Um, I would say like even there are muscular characters like Abby in video games, like Zarya. There are characters like the um, Amara from um, Borderlands Three that is pretty muscular. She has abs. Everything has a muscular body and, and like a pretty face, just like Abby does. But to go ahead and talk about people that design a character or design a level based on what you feel that they need to do, that's not right. That, that's not for you to say. That's not for anybody to say. First of all, you have no right to critique anybody's stuff when, every, when everybody's trying to critique your stuff and then you just call them homophobic because they can critique your stuff. That's a problem. Um, at one point... When people talk about stuff like this is like a SJW pushed game, that that's kind of false also. That's really false also. Because here's here's the thing with the SJW false game. With the SJW false game, it has to push something right off like the bat of the new game. This game was already LGBT from the get-go. Especially when you know that Ellie is lesbian from the actual um, DLC prequel. And the DLC prequel is the um, is that DLC expansion to the first Last of Us game. And it shows like her actual romance with, you know, one of the character's daughters. So that's there already. That's with no problem. Um... The thing, the things like you know, people killing, like with Joel being killed because he's because he's white is absolutely ridiculous. That's dumb. 
is a reason why because Joel actually killed um Abby's father who was actually a doctor that was trying to work on um Ellie to get a cure where Joel killed all of them to save Ellie now it's it's just weird it's uh it's really weird for me it's like I don't like Neil Druckmann on how he criticizes people but the criticism for The Last of Us 2 just because a character dies it's it makes no sense it does, as I said it's not an overall criticism it's it's a criticism it's a criticism that won't be taken seriously because it won't help any type of way to improve so so that's just my thing about it uh comment what you guys feel at the bottom let me know what you guys think definitely subscribe to the ehg community definitely turn on your notifications when we get new streams and new videos set out definitely join us on our facebook group our discord channel make sure to subscribe to our moderator support our sponsors and definitely check out our merchandise but this is your boy crazy 98 aka nicholas morales founder of the ehg community and stay tuned for another video